your boy is talking smack and got a vaccine for his clap and I am back with another food review. What is going on folks? It's your boy Stefan back here with another star-studded food review. If you're new here, I am here every week with food review and comedy content. And if you like the sound of any of that, go ahead and hit those buttons down there. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And join me. Our cult is growing by the second and it's getting sexier and greasier as the days go by. So guys, as you may or may not know, the nation is dealing with a crisis of biblical proportions, not the crisis that you guys may be thinking of. The United States is dealing with a chicken wing crisis. And I've dealt with a lot of shit in my life. I've dealt with um, personal health issues. I've dealt with um, terrible breakups. We have all dealt with that nasty global bastard that has plagued us for over the last year and a half, but this may take the fucking cake. How is the world dealing with a chicken wing shortage? And, 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 and it makes no sense because there's a chicken wing shortage, but there's not a chicken thigh or a chicken leg or a chicken breast shortage. So are there chickens out here running around with four or five breastuses, but no wings? Riddle me that. So our friendly friends at Wingstop have gone a alternative route. They are doing thighs at Wingstop. They've done them before, but they're bringing them back in light of the chicken wing apocalypse, the chicken wing lopalypse, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And I didn't have them the first time. I never tried their thighs before. So I placed an online order which was a very convoluted process. You can't order these in store. You can't call the store. You have to, you have to do it online. But if you go to wingstop.com, they have no remnants of thighs. I had to Google this. You have to go to thighstop.com. If you want these, you have to go to thighstop.com and order them. Or you have to go to DoorDash. And again, on DoorDash, they don't have them under Wingstop. You have to find Thighstop on DoorDash. It's the most convoluted thing. And the lady... I spoke to, I, when I called the store, she had a little bit of an attitude. She had a little bit of attitude when I told her, oh, I can't find it online. She, in so many words, said, find it yourself. In, in so many words, she said, find it yourself. So I hope Wingstop sees this video. Their folks be tripping. Five to 10 minutes. Um, I gotta go back to work. Um, can you guys replace it with like anything? Can you guys replace it with like anything? How do you like the thighs? Are the thighs any good? They're good? That was a mess. I get there, and apparently they hadn't even started my food. They haven't even put my food in the grease. The things, I do this for you guys. I do this for you guys. Do not take me for granted. Drop me a subscribe. Drop me a subscribe on all social medias listed below for the things I go through for you people. You, the people. And then I asked the girl, oh, have you, how, 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 how do you like the food? And she's like, she does not, like she didn't want to speak. I get that customer service is a drag and I can only imagine that she probably had a rough day, probably had a rough shift, you know? But you gotta do better than that. You gotta do better than this. I did customer service for 15 years. I did customer service for 15 years. And when I had a bad day, if I was having a bad shift, if I just wasn't feeling it, you don't let the customer know. It should not be evident to the customer or, or it should be evident to the customer that you are having a bad day, but you're trying your hardest. You know what I mean? But anyway, I digress. All right. So I got their boneless and I got their bone in thighs. <laughs> they gave me the wrong food. These are boneless wings. Wing stop. Come on, you guys. <laughs> Come on. God damn. All right. Come on, you guys. The attitude on the phone, right? The food not even being worked on by the time I get there. They packed the food while I was there. After I told them what I ordered, confirmed the order, right? 
and then they didn't even put the right food in the basket. What the hell? All right, let's try this again. So apparently, the boneless thighs are just so small. To quote the employee, they are actually smaller than their boneless wings. Their thighs are smaller than their boneless wings. Do what you will with that information, people. So, let's revisit these. These are apparently their boneless thighs that are apparently smaller than their boneless wings. This is one of their boneless thighs, right? This is a bone in thigh. How the fuck? All right, you guys, so let's see how the taste is, you know, because this is a food review, not a service review. But goddamn, all right. So I got the, um, what was it, spicy Korean Q. I think it's like Korean barbecue flavor for the boneless. And I got garlic Parmesan for the um, bone in. So without further ado, God, I hope they at least taste okay. Let's try the boneless thighs. I mean, well seasoned, well cooked, it's juicy on the inside. They don't taste bad and they're cooked okay. They're like popcorn chicken made out of thighs. Some of the pieces have more breading than they do meat. They're okay. So let's try the thighs. Let's try the real bone-in thighs. And this is what we have right here. Garlic Parmesan. Let's crack into it. Let's see what we can do. Now this I can get jiggy with. Juicy, crispy on the outside, well seasoned. It's what I was expecting when I went to go and grab thighs from Wingstop. And they're a decent size for a thigh too. They're okay. The one thing I would ask for, just a little more transparency when it comes to the boneless. I'm sorry, I keep going back to the boneless, but it was just, it was just a lot. Today was a lot. Usually my reviews are seamless. Go through the drive-through, in, out, boom, boom, boom. But there were so many issues with this one. Food-wise, the bone-in wings are pretty good. Well-seasoned, juicy, crispy on the outside they're good but the boneless even being completely unbiased let's say i knew exactly what i was getting very inconsistent bites a lot of the pieces have a lot more breading than they do chicken but the ones that do have a good amount of chicken in it they taste really good they're also very well seasoned very well cooked juicy on the inside then again you got pieces that are that are this size so overall if you're near a wing stop and you like chicken, who doesn't like chicken? Go and get their new thighs. The bone-in thighs are really good. The boneless, again, just know what you're getting. Just know that you're getting. That's been it for me. I appreciate you guys being patient with this review because this was a lot. This one was, was truly a lot. If you guys don't mind, go ahead and hit some buttons down there. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Um, every little bit helps. Every little comment, every little like helps the algorithm. As always, I have some fun stuff on this side and I have some fun stuff right here. I've been me, you've been you. May God help us all and I'll see you soon.